all right first let's clarify the output that we are looking for if you are looking for a navigation pane such as this which is better known as bookmarks then please continue with this video so we are not talking about table of contents which is automatically converted when you convert from your editing tool whether it is ms word or open office this is directly converted you don't have to do anything for this toc but to get this navigation pane which is constant throughout the document let's look at how we can achieve that so this bookmarks icon helps you close the pane and open the pane but you wouldn't automatically see this when you convert a document from ms word or any other editing tool to a pdf you would you would not necessarily see this icon highlighted and you wouldn't have any of the bookmarks so the first part to achieve achieving this is within the editing tool itself in my case it is ms word so let's go there now yeah i've got my document i have a table of contents ready here this navigation pane comes i mean this is just there it's not necessary that you need to have that but you can click on view check this and you got your navigation pane which is nothing but your table of contents mapped over here but how do you ensure that this is replicated in pdf how do you make sure that it comes here because it generally doesn't the first thing you need to do is when you save or when you convert your word document to pdf you go to file you click on save as adobe pdf right here this is where you need to take care of make sure you click on options before you click on save ensure that the checkbox called create bookmarks is checked this is generally not by default it's not i have checked it so it's showing up here and ensure that you have checked convert to word headings to bookmarks this is important so the word understands that all its headings needs to be converted as bookmarks when it is created as a pdf so you click okay make sure these two are checked in okay and say yes i want to overwrite the previous document now where's my pdf okay i do not see the navigation pane unless i click on my bookmarks icon we've got this now now focus here every time you open this pdf you are not going to see this navigation pane unless you click on this if you are an adobe reader user adobe reader user is completely different from adobe acrobat pro the one that you see here adobe acrobat pro until here you've got no difference it works perfectly fine but if you want to make sure that whenever you open this pdf the bookmark automatically needs to appear here you've got to change the settings which is available only in adobe acrobat pro so you go to your file you click on properties then you select initial view here and in your navigation tab click the drop down make sure you've selected bookmarks panel and page through this pdf understands that it needs to show the bookmarks as soon as you open your document yeah so let's give okay now let's close this yes i want to save the changes this is a duplicate of it let's close this too let's find the pdf first here you go this is the one that was saved right now double click and now it understands that all the navigation uh, sorry all the bookmarks need to be present as soon as you open the document remember this route file properties initial view you can also change other default settings such as how much magnification uh, magnification you would like to see by default it's 100 or 125 you can set it you can save it and next time you open this it would be extremely zoomed in yep hope this video helped remember the difference between adobe acrobat pro this is a paid one it gives you the option of changing these properties but not the adobe reader even though you can create bookmarks but you would have to ensure that your ms word settings 
the options you see this checked and you click ok before saving and when you are in your pdf you need to click the bookmarks icon so that your navigation pane appears here hope this helped subscribe for more videos such as this thank you